There's a story we're all familiar with about a boy and a bear. But as Ernest Hemingway once said, all things truly wicked start from innocence. I'm told. Since last we saw our Christopher Robin, <laughs> things haven't been so good. The Hundred Acre Massacre, as it came to be known, sent shockwaves through the quiet community of Ashtown. And the public, he became a pariah. But a small group of locals believed Christopher and set out to hunt the creatures of the Hundred Acre Wood. Over the course of months, they searched and searched. If Pooh and his friends were out there, the places they could hide were diminished time. With the Hundred Acre Wood no longer safe, Pooh was forced to reunite with some of his long-lost friends, necessary if they had any hope of surviving. In an effort to pick up the pieces, Christopher finished his medical and trust Christopher. His future was very much in doubt. Unknowingly, both Christopher and Pooh were facing the same ostracism. Unwanted. That boy and his bear will always be plain. And sadly, there would be many casualties along the way. Spirits of the... <laughs> what? I can't believe we're really doing this right now. Can you just focus for once, Jamie? Oh, okay, calm down, Mia. Damn. Say, <laughs> just focus. Please move the planchette to yes. If you can, if you're here, please give us a sign of your present. Shouldn't someone go check that out? Oh. You first. What? You were the one who asked for a sign, Alice. Were you afraid? Yes, I am. And I. from the session? Any images or...? Yeah, yeah, um, I, I started to remember, um... It just goes blank. It's okay. 
it takes time for our minds to organize what's unearthed in hypnotherapy. Yeah. What are you doing here? So, how was it? Fine, yeah, good. And? And I appreciate you caring about me, but, um, yeah, I think you should keep your distance for a bit and keep driving. No, sorry, it's not gonna happen. You know, you keep doing this lately. What am I doing? You keep trying to push me away and it's not gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not honest, it's just... With my parents getting harassed in the town and their house getting vandalised, Bonnie getting shit at school, I just don't want to be dragging... No, I mean, that's what friends are for. Yeah? Well... Shall we go? Get driving then. OK. That fish you play on my own. Honestly, I need the cash, so no, sorry. And also, I didn't really fancy dressing up like a gimp tonight anyway. I hate you. I love you. Oh, can you ask Finn if he still needs a ride? Barked and went inside to chat for your dad for like five minutes, and then we come outside and some cunt had already lit it up. I didn't want you to see this, Chris. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck out. Don't take it personally, dude. Thanks. Hey, hey. You've got this kid, okay? I love you. Daryl. We're losing life. So we what? Go back? No. You need to relax, man. All you gotta do is keep your eyes open. They're not out there. I saw them once. They're right here. Be all right, mate. We're gonna find them. There can't be many more places that they're hiding. something out there. Yeah? Let's kill it then. I 
over in seconds. So, Ruby, you're going to hold on to Alex's hand really, really tight. It's using me like a sharp little scratch. No. It is going to feel 20 million times better for you, OK? If you're ready, a deep breath in me when you've got this. Three, two, one. There we go. That is all done. Thank you very much, Alex. You're going to feel so much better after that, OK? Chris. Yeah? Well, I didn't want to have to do this during the holidays, but at this point, I have no choice. Oh. People I answer to don't like the attention that all this has been getting on the hospital. We've had complaints. About me? And with all this... Like, seriously? They don't care about that, okay? They only care about getting the heat off themselves, okay? Can you blame them? Alan! Well, these people don't care about their workers, Daphne. They just pretend they do, and now that it's become a problem, they're just trying to distance themselves from it. I didn't say it's the right thing to do. I'm gonna have something when I'm on route to my therapy session. Ow! I should load this properly. Ella! Come Hello! But she called me Ella and my name is Bunny. I mean, you've got two names, which is absolutely fine. No, just Bunny. And just Ella? Just the moment she said it was fine. What was fine? Is that Billy's teddy? Did you go in Billy's room and get that? Mum said Billy would have wanted me to have it. Okay, Bonnie, in future, you really need to ask me before you just go in there and take stuff, okay? That school told me you were crazy because you believed there were scary animal people in the Hundred Acre Wood. But since I know you're not crazy, just a little bit weird, that must mean the scary animal people are real. So I'm making a list, keep an eye out, and make sure nothing bad happens to us. That's right. <laughs> Good job. OK. How about over here, Luke? Just up there, what can you see? Looks... How about... I don't want to leave this game! Luke! going to take you back there. Now. Let's begin. <laughs> Focus only on me. Yeah. His early moments with Pooh filled with joy, innocence, and happiness. But the truth was much darker. Pooh was never who Christopher thought he was. His naive young mind simply wiped away what he could. It's all here, Chris. No. I'm sorry, Spaces. It's okay, it's okay. I can't, it was blurry, but I can't fucking see him. Who, who, who did you see? I don't know, I don't know, I saw him though. Okay, okay. 
literally see him. But it was just blurry and I just, I, f I think I'm getting close to something, you know? So that's incredible, Chris. That's a proper breakthrough. Oh, yeah. I mean, it would be if I could actually see him. Yeah, I know, but look, I've tried to and... Right, let me put it this way. Tonight, the maniac's decided he's the killer in a slasher film. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess, you know, he's got good taste. Stop funny, Chris. Well, don't worry about that. I will sort it out for you, OK? Well, I, um, I, want, I wanted to say something to you. I wanted to um, say thank you. And I'm sorry if it feels like I'm pushing you away at times. Uh, okay, first of all, he's not my boyfriend. And second, yes, but it's all lies. Was he wearing a bear mask when he killed all those people? What? No, he didn't, he didn't kill anyone. Besides, you should not be watching this. Okay, turn it off. Besides, it is your bedtime, mister. Oh shit, I don't. When the uh, search is started, it was like a dream, like a nightmare, really. And then <sighs> one day the uh, Officer Daughtry just wanted to ask you a few questions, Chris, that's all. Morning, Chris. I was just telling your parents there was another incident at the Hundred Acre Wood the night before last. <laughs> Two hunters were attacked and killed and one seriously injured. I believe you know him. Uh, yeah, Aaron, I, sorry, you said that he was attacked. I thought it was an... Wow, look at this, hey! Oh, cool. oh hey! Hey, I want to go on, it's been a minute. Hey. How are you? So it's been all right with you. <laughs> How many people are coming to this? Oh, I've got like a okay. hundred. Okay, grab a drink if you want. Aves and I are going to give you the grand tour. Great. Here's where people can come chill, smoke, hook up, whatever. Cara, I told you I'm, I'm working. I can't come. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, totally don't mind you not showing, but does that mean Chris is a no go too? Well, no, he's probably going to come with Finn. Why? I just think with the murders and all, can't stop. Like, I'm struggling to get people to actually commit, let alone if they find out a murder is going to be Oh, well, yeah. I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I'm not going to fight or ain't going to get through this. When they, um, when they called me, they said that you heard something you wanted to tell me. No, just end me. Just end it. Just
fucking move. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't fucking move. Ah, calm, calm down. You must be looking for someone else. No, 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 no. I fucking saw you. You took my brother and you took my friends and fucking tell me what happened. I can see you're very upset. Oh, I swear to fucking God, I'll fucking kill you. Tell me. Luck. Really? For them kids. See, I never knew what he wanted them, but at the time, I didn't care. Dr. Gallup, he, he offered to pay my gambling debts. Men I owed made other men disappear. So I just didn't really know what I was doing. So I got very, very, very drunk indeed, and I drove sleep over party. I just grabbed them and dumped them off at Gallops. And then he, he honoured his side of the bargain. Is he still alive? Mm. My brother. Rusting things, changing their genetics and whatnot. Tampering with nature, combining human and animal DNA. Oh, the God. Decided I'd get rid of them. Destroy all the evidence of what he'd done. I kept an eye on him. I did. I followed him all the way to Hundred Acre Wood. I tried to stop him. Shot the bastard between the eyes and I had to panic. I didn't know what to do. So I, 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 I never seen but be away from the kids. I made sure that I never made the bad things. I went back the next night. So someone took it. Someone dug him up. Have you dug someone up? Turn right up. Oh. Them kids pull themselves out. Nobody believed you. I did. I knew. What killed them teenagers? Monsters. Same ones Gallup killed and buried. Same ones that back to Gallup's lab. Took anything that might incriminate me. I set fire to the place. I burned the whole fucking house down. Because... Alright. Check out back while I search the main premises. I was close. I persevered. I knew I had to. I have finally achieved a genuine breakthrough. My research, my work is coming to fruition with these new subjects. The children. They resist in bone density and strength. They're taking on the physical characteristics of the very animals their genetic sequence has been interconnected with. I am witnessing some extraordinary abilities. Evidence of regenerative capabilities. Restraints broken on not to the Over. 
soon I fear I may become their prey. So the only way forward is to make them my prey first. And reset. So, okay. you, what do you mean? One of them attacked me, Freddy. What? So, are you both okay? Yeah, no, we're fine, but... Look, it got away, Chris. It's not safe out there. There's, there's been loads of murders leading to Ashdown and... Chris, they... They found Finn dead. There's a home run right there.
Where's my sister? Take it away, I'm so sorry about what happened to you. Just give me my sister. Please don't do the She's in shock, but she's okay. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Oh bother. Oh bother. Oh bother. Deep in the Hundred Acre Woods, a young boy named Christopher Robin came across some most unusual adolescent creatures. Crossbreeds, who some would describe as abominations. The Cree the Pooh. With the naivety of youth, Christopher ignored the dangers and befriended them all. He brought them food, and with each passing day together, their bond strengthened and grew. The days turned to years, and with the years came maturity to become a doctor, requiring them to fend for themselves once more. Then winter arrived. One fateful night, on the brink of starvation, Pooh decided that in order to survive, the group must consume one of their dearest friends. And thus, Eeyore was no more. Things human, and in particular, Christopher Robin, for abandoning them. A pact was made. They renounced their humanity and returned to their animalistic roots, swearing never to talk again.
Here we are. I told you it wouldn't take that long. Come on. I know exactly where to go now. You said that two hours ago. Nearly there. Promise? Okay, one more hour. One more hour. Special. Why are you so special? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that is because soon we'll be Christopher and Mary Robin. And I don't want any secrets between us. And I certainly don't want you to think I'm crazy. I don't think you're crazy, Chris. Do you think I made up those stories? No, I don't think you've made it all up. Okay, so you believe me? You believe they exist? Well, I didn't say that. And your imagination went wild. And over the years, you've convinced yourself of it. They exist, Mary. I couldn't have made all of this up. You don't need to be ashamed of that. Lots of people have imaginary friends as children. They're not imaginary, Mary. Why are we even here if you don't believe me? Chris, I don't think we're going to find them. Come on, it's starting to get a bit late. Who, Piglet, Eeyore, all of them. We were friends for many years and they're out there. I know, you've told me the stories many times. How you would sneak into the kitchen to get them food and how you would play with that no one, Chris, not even you, has ever seen since. Maybe you're right. I know, I know it's quite hard to deal with this, but that's why I came. And you know, in a way, they still exist in you. Pooh! Come on, Mary, it's them! We can't go in there! This is the place, Mary, but it's changed. It can't be. It's barely how I remember it. This has to be some sort of mistake. Oh. Now. Mary. We really shouldn't be here. Mary, I, I really need to find out what's happening here, okay? I... Come on. Please. Look, you're not in any danger, okay? I know them, all right? Look, I'm here to protect you. It's going to be okay, all right? This is our house, Mary. We used to, we used to play here all the time. Man. Why is it like that? Why would they do this? We have to hide. We have to hide. Hide. Please hide.
something wrong with Bigler. He just killed my wife. Please. Why are you doing this? We used to be friends. Why are you doing this? Please. Why are you doing this? We used to be friends. What? Stop. Please. Stop begging. I would have never left, I swear, I swear, I, 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 I why are you doing this? I would have never left, I swear, I swear, I, 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 sure how to explain it. Well, are you happy that you came to speak to me today? Everywhere I go, I'm looking over my shoulder and I just feel on edge. You know, like the slightest noise and I can just feel my heart racing. Being aware of how this is affecting your life, achieve that. It's just, it feels like nothing has really changed. You are not in the same situation you were a few months ago. Yeah. I know. It's just hard to adjust. I thought about taking a weekend away. Go somewhere quiet, disconnect from the busy world, somewhere which might feel safer and to take your mind off everything that's happened. I think it could really help you. your head if it wasn't attached uh, to your body. Listen, listen. <laughs> right, do you hear that? Okay, that is the door. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, I won't be long. Yeah, all right. I don't think there's anyone here. Hold on, I'm coming. Hi. <laughs> well, how are you doing, girl? Sorry I couldn't hear you back there. No, it's fine. I just wanted to ask, the pumps outside, are they working? <laughs> Them old things? Here's, if you're looking for gas, you could drive up the road about two miles. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? My fault. There you go. Oh, you sweet. Oh, sorry Cheers again. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, my feet hurt. They're disgusting. Really? This place is kind of cool. And did you see how it's a pool? Yeah. And the barbecue. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Well, that pool's got my name written all over it. It's awesome. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. Come on, girls, let's get inside. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> right, girls, do you remember what we agreed? Are we actually doing that? Yeah, what's the whole point coming here? No, if we how? say so. It will. To disconnect? <laughs> You're never going to know it's gone. Lara, whatever. Oh. Fine. <laughs> she did it. Whatever. <laughs> She'll definitely notice it's gone as well. Oh, yeah, she will. I don't need it. And anyway, I'm going to pack. Dipsy best room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we told you Tina weren't coming. Hi, it's me. Can you call me as soon as you get this? Because I have no clue where I'm going. Like, is it definitely 100 Acre Woods? Is that the place? Because my sat nav's telling me to make a U-turn and I'm so bad at directions. Request it before we arrive. Don't worry, it didn't cost too much. Do you not like it? It's just a bit soon. Therapist, it'll do me some good anyway. Why? I started to notice things occasionally seem out of place. You know, like a garden chair next to my window or footprints in the garden. What the hell? I never knew that happened to you. Night. I had walk right at me. And when I screamed, he just ran off. That's absolutely disgusting. I spoke to the police and there was just nothing they could do. Everything was fine for about a month. But then in public, I started to feel this unease again. I got on his computer and found loads of me. I had no idea. That's why I didn't want to tell you girls, because it just wasn't my place. I do feel like I'm getting a lot better now. Imagine what, imagine what would have happened if... Huh? 
ruining my holiday, you fat freak. Sounded like a scream. Maybe Tina's here. No, that didn't sound like Tina. Should we go and check it out? Yeah, come on. Yeah. This is car here. We need to shut the door and get back to the girls.
think that's so right. If I tell you to leave, you run out of that door as fast as you can. Sorry, no, I'm coming with you. You're not leaving me. You won't hear her. Let's fall over now. We'll find an opportunity soon.
to help me because we, we don't have much time. Please help me. about what, what's happening to y'all huh he's coming for us he's, he's keep coming he's going to burn who is <laughs> you need to calm down you ain't making no sense Boy, logan check it out the fuck is that what the no! No bear either. Some kind of freak picking on them girls, huh? Colt, Tucker, it's all up. I don't like the look of this one. Is this who's been chasing you? Oh, you don't understand. Oh Boys, you God. ready? Freaks doing to Hey, yo, what you been doing to them girls, huh? Oi! That git as dumb as he looks. 
You better start talking or you ain't gonna be breathing, you get it? Your unlucky day, mate. Think you're tough, you fucking nonce. You're tough. I'll give you that. But you ain't gonna be standing soon when we start whipping the shit out of you. Ready, boys?
for good. It's still in there. Boo. You can stop. I know I caused you a lot of pain. Just let, let her go. I'll stay. I'll stay. Just take me instead, please. No, no, you can't. He'll kill you. Oh. Let her go. Let, let, let. I'll stay with you forever. Take me instead. You left. You left. You left.